Hello and thank you for watching this Finance with Excel video. In this video I'm going to show you how to make this graph right here. Now in this graph right here what we have is the stock price of Google going back um, to from 2004 up to um, the present which is the summer or beginning of 2015. And so we can see the stock price in black but we can also see in this in these two red lines the uh, intraday um, volatility. So this calculates the day-to-day -day percent change in the stock's closing price. Now the, the, the light line is the actual day-to-day -day price and the darker line is <clears throat> the one month moving average of the uh, price changes. So we can see when there are uh, little peaks in here that volatility is increasing or when there are peaks um, or, or whatnot. So this is a useful graph and what we've done is on the left hand axis we have the stock price and on the right hand axis we have the intraday volatility and then on the bottom axis we have the date and so this is a this this uh, workbook will show you how to use a lot of the graph formatting skills um, that you that are super useful for making very good looking graphs when I was working in industry I spent a significant portion of every single day making graphs like this for managers and so students ability to do that is very important so let me show you how to do this. We first start by just opening up our browser and I'm just going to use Google Finance. So finance.google.com. And then in the finance I'm just going to put in Goog, which is Google's uh, stock ticker. And then uh, over here in the left hand they have historical prices. Now a lot of a lot of stock pri or websites will give you this. They will uh, show you, uh, like Yahoo Finance will do it too, but I'm just using Google Finance just for the sake of just because it doesn't matter. Now I'm just going to put in, I'm going to go back to 2004, oops, not 2004, and I'm just going to get all the data from May 20, 2004 all the way to May 11th, 2015. Click update, and then it creates a big list, and now uh, I want to, over here, it's going to say download to a spreadsheet. So I click download to spreadsheet, and we can see down here it just downloaded it uh, to a spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that spreadsheet. Now that spreadsheet, it looks just like this. Now I'm basing all of my analysis on the closing price, um, but you can you could also use the open, high, low, volume, whatever, whatever you want. And that's what downloads uh, the daily statistics. I'm just going to use the closing price, so I'm just going to get rid of the other ones just because it makes my uh, working with this graph easier. Now I need to calculate the percent change. Percent change. And then that's just, and we, and this is, uh, when I teach the graphs like this to my students, this is the hardest part for my students to get, is the intuition of how to calculate the daily percent change. And I just say it's today minus yesterday divided by yesterday. And so all your calculator, and so I, about a third to a half of my students, depending on the semester, will mess this up. They will either divide by today, so they'll, they'll have B2 here instead of B3, or they'll reverse those two. And so making sure that the students un understand the intuition that the change uh, between today and yesterday is today minus yesterday, and then you're dividing that by the base, which was yesterday. And so that's your percent change. And so then click that down. Now, what I always tell my students they have to do is they have to go down to the very bottom and a way to go all the way down to the bottom is I just hit control and then down it takes me all the way to the very bottom of the column and we can see that this last one is an error because it obviously can't calculate by anything here so I make sure I take points off if my students don't get rid of that last um, point now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, uh, another column called um, volatility moving average. I'll just call it moving average right now. And with it, I'm going to create a uh, a uh, 20 trading days. That's a four tra a four week trading day moving average. So just to count to 20, I'm just going to uh, pull deaths down to 20. And um, so here's a 20 day trading average. So let's well let's actually just go 21. Um, because then that gives us um, the day, 10 days before, and then 10 days after. So we're going to go here, we're going to go equals average, and then I just highlight all of these, and then I just drag that down. And then this, and then we don't need that column anymore. And this just gives us the average volatility because you can have one day um, that's really, really a big spike, but it's kind of an outlier, and that might not be indicative of what the volatility is typically like. 
the last thing we need to do is we need to come here, or we need to find here at the bottom, so uh, where the last day is. Because um, if we see right here, once we get beyond this point right here, our moving average is incomplete because it's taking in blank values. So we need to just delete all of these. Lastly, we want uh, these to be formatted as percent, so I'm just going to highlight these two columns and click percent. And then um, I'm now I'm ready to put in a line graph. Now, um, if you if the, the f Excel will assume that the first column is what you want on the horizontal axis, which is what we want because it's the date. If you delete the uh, the the title, so I'm just going to click, and then you can just click anywhere in the data, and I'm going to go insert line, and then I'm going to add a line. And now we can see uh, on this line right here that. Um, you can't even see these bottom two or these bottom two series because they're so small. I mean, point or zero to you know these are so, so small. So we need to move these over to a second axis. The way to do that is you um, you just highlight on the series, you right click on it, and then go to Format Data Series. Now in the Series option, which is the first thing that comes, it says Primary Secondary Axis. We want it to move it to a secondary axis, and then click Close, and then let's highlight this next one. Do the same thing, Format Data Series, and then um, we want to move it also to a secondary axis. Um, but now, if we if we now looking at this. Um, we can see that we're getting starting to get the graph that we want. However, uh, these are too uh, big. Um, these red ones, this red line, this series, which is the actual day to day, is too thick, and we can't see anything behind it. Um, so we can't really see what the stock price is doing. Now, to remedy this, uh, what we're going to do is let's we just click on that series, um, and uh, so let's just click on that series, and then right click, and then go Format Data Series. And then I'm going to uh, say first off I'm going to um, I'm going to go to line style. And what we want to do is we want to make this line thinner. So the width we're going to move it down to like 1.2. It says this, this is complex formatting. Just say yes to this. And so we're going to move it down. If that ever comes up to I'll move it to 1.25. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go um, to line color. And we have this transparency thing. I want to make it, you know, maybe 60, you know, round of here. I'm going to make it more transparent. So now we can see what's behind it. So the next thing we want to do is I want to make this uh, this second line, the moving average line. I want to make it more uh, or thinner also, but also make it the same color as the the um, red line behind it. So I clicked it, and notice when I clicked it, it automatically brought it up here. Um, and so I don't actually have to go click to. Um, you know, right click format so I can just automatically come here. So I go to line style and I want to move this down to, you know, we'll go 1.25. And then line color, I want, I'm going to turn this into, um, into red. There we go. So we've moved it into red so that we can see the, the moving average and the price. Lastly, I'm going to come format this line right here. And um, I'm going to do the same thing. So let's go line color. And I want this to be a solid line, and I want it to be black. Now line style, and we want to make this one um, a lot more thin, a lot thinner also. So now we can um, see uh, what we've got going on here. So now we basically have our um, graph. There's a few things we need to change, though. So over here on this left-hand axis, these are just numbers. We want them to be in dollar format. So we're going to right-click on that and click Format Axis. And then if we click on Number, it says, well, what do we want our number? Well, I want our number to be in currency. And then I want there to be zero decimal places. And so now we've got that in there. Now, I, I actually don't want this percent change. I don't want both of these to be in there. So I'm just going to, uh, so I want to delete this percent change. And I can just click on this and click delete, and it, it removes that from the legend. Now, I want to rename this from moving average to volatility and this from closed price. And the way you do that is you just come here uh, to where the data is and you just rename the, the, the series there. So price and volatility. I want it now to move these to the bottom because I don't want them to be on the right hand axis. So I just uh, click that. Um, well, I just so I click on the anywhere on the chart and I come up here to chart tools and I'm going to go to layout. And then at layout, I'm just going to click on legend and I'm going to say show legend at the bottom. 
So now it's giving me price and volatility. Now, because we have a two-sided axis, these these horizontal lines are uh, not. They're, they're kind of confusing because they only apply to the left-hand axis, not the right-hand axis, so I'm just going to get rid of them. So that way I just click on it, you can see it selected them by those dots, and to hit delete. So now we've gotten rid of those lines. Because we have two axes now, it's very important that we label what our two axes are. And so once again, we just come to Chart Tools, and then we go to Axis Titles, and then we're gonna, we want the primary vertical axis, and then we want a rotated title. So it says right here, what do we want? And this is going to be Price. Now let's go back to Axes, and then we want the secondary vertical axis, and we want a rotated um, title, and we want to call this Volatility. <clears throat> and lastly, we want to add a title to this um, this workbook, and then um, we just click on Chart Title, and then we're I'm going to put one above the chart, and I'm going to call this title Google Stock Price and Volatility. And so now we can see uh, the last thing we're going to do is just kind of uh, make this a little bit, um, you know, prettier of a workbook. I'm going to copy this. Um, actually, I'm going to cut this, and I'm just going to move it to a new tab, and I'm going to paste it. And then to so like we had in the final version, I'm going to make it bigger. And then um, as we as we were looking at this, the entire thing it looked like it was just blended in with the entire workbook. So I'm just going to highlight the whole workbook. I'm going to come up here to to fill, and then I'm going to fill the whole thing in white. Now this thing is filled in white. The only thing that we uh, have in this one that didn't happen in the last one is there's a box around here, and we want I want to get rid of the box. I'm just going to highlight the graph, right click. And then if we come down here to this uh, shape outline, I'm just going to click on it and then click no outline. And uh, that is how we have that graph. So here's a nice, well-formatted graph where we show the stock price. Um, now, looking at this formatting, I, I want to kind of—I actually want to change the uh, the formatting on this. I want to make it a little bit um, bigger. And this is one complex formatting. That's okay. So we'll make it a little bit bigger, so that way you can see the stock price uh, really clearly in relationship with um, the other prices here. And that's all for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Bye.